Okay, one of the defenses that I really like is the arrow slit, a place where an archer can um, be pretty safe but have a wide range of places that he can shoot. And so I'm going to show you a couple ways that I managed to do that. Um, if I look at this face right here, what we want is a fairly large opening on this side and a very narrow opening on the other side so that arrows coming in have a hard time but it's easy to shoot out. So the way that I, one of the ways I came up with doing this is to go ahead and draw that very thin arrow slit on this side and then clicking on it and pushing it through. So I'm going to take this and push it through the other side. When I come in over here and I look, oh, it looks like I did it exactly right. How strange is that? Um, a lot of times that does not work. I'm going to try that again on another one and see if it does the same thing. So take your arrow slit, draw a nice tall narrow one, and push it through the other way. This is what normally happens to me. I think I just got it exactly right that time by accident. But you can't just delete this and have that hole left there. So you have to actually draw some lines from point to point around these edges that don't exist right here. And one across the bottom. And once you do that, when you delete the rest of this, you'll be able to have a hole that goes all the way through. Now, of course, you don't want to have such a narrow slit on this side. You want more room to work so that you can aim in a lot of different directions. So the cool thing you can do here is that you select one of these inner edges and use the Move tool and move it over. Take this one and move it over. So you've got a larger opening from this side, so you can really get a good angle on the people who are attacking the castle. And you, you can get a good look at it there. Let me go ahead and move that down even. So someone could kneel there. So even from this side, I can see, wow, that looks like a pretty big hole that they might uh, shoot me through. So maybe I'll be a little more conservative and make that a little bit narrower. And from the outside, you can imagine from down here, it would be pretty hard to get an arrow through that slit to hurt somebody. But from up here, when you look through, whoop, when you look through here, you can see that you can cover quite a bit of the ground outside. So let me take this one and Again, selecting an edge will often allow you to simply move it and keep all the other faces that are connected to it from getting distorted. Just depends on how you made that opening. And even from the inside, I can try and standardize this. Um, if you can try and get a cross cut out of there, that would give you some additional range from side to side. Um, but just a quick idea there of how that might work. Now, if you um, wanted to make a small one down here, this is another technique. If you said, okay, I want this one to be exactly that big, and you go to the other side and you said, I need a very small slit right along here. Well, let's say this one is going to be sideways one then we need to connect the vertices from one to the other. And if we temporarily delete this one right here, we can actually do some line drawing from one to the other. So I'm going to delete those faces and then see if I can't connect some lines from that corner to that corner from this corner to this one, and look, it makes the face for us. So if you're careful with where you put those, you can make yourself a pretty nice arrow slit from the inside. 
And then in order to close that back up again, we just draw one of those lines and a face is created. And so you can connect those if you can get a, a view from the inside. Otherwise, it can be somewhat difficult to make that connection. But that's another way of making an arrow slit. And so the outside of your castle can have a lot of holes in it that are hard for arrows to get in, but easy for arrows to get out.